What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and another video on the BMW today. Now then, I'm hoping it's only going to be a short one because I'm just replacing the crankcase breather valve or the engine block breather, whatever you want to call it. It is this thing right here. It just sits on top of the engine rocker cover or valve cover and this breather is actually not oh hello this breather is actually not a serviceable item this is an n series engine this is the uh, n47 in particular now this should be the same design as any n series engine and possibly engines after as well now the older style crankcase breather valves were bigger than this they're probably two or three times the size and they actually contained a filter that you had to replace every second or third oil change but this is supposedly a lifetime system now i'll show you the new part that i'm going to be replacing it with okay then so it is a vaco or vico now i did actually try to find a Febby Bilstein part, but I guess because it's not a serviceable item, they don't expect many people to need to replace these, so there's obviously not the demand for them. Um, but anyway, this is what the new part looks like, and it is actually made up of three parts. So you have the cap, and then you have this rubber disc, and then you have this spring right here, and together it works as a diaphragm to i guess force the um, crankcase vapors out um, through the crankcase and breather hose uh, down there back through the intake into the intake manifold and then to be burnt off in the combustion process okay then so when it comes to removing the old breather i can't really see any other method of removing it apart from lifting up these tabs which there are one two three four five around the outside and because these are plastic it's a good chance that they'll break so pretty much once i've removed this it's not going back on so we'll uh, we'll try our best not to break them but like i said there's a good chance that they will so let's just uh, let's just go for it and hope for the best i'm just hoping that it's not glued on which because that wouldn't be fun yeah one's already broke oh that was actually easier than what i thought okay well that rubber is definitely hard i know that for sure definitely harder than the uh, than the new rubber but let's remove the spring the spring is intact it's not snapped still got spring to it so all right let's uh, let's chuck this away and I'll show you inside okay then so here is a look on the inside and it looks to me that there is three holes that let the crankcase vapors through and there really doesn't seem like there's any blockages or massive amounts of debris in here now there is a little bit of i guess i, I don't know i guess like oil or carbon build up like the tiniest amount i'm talking like a thin film on the inside of here which i can probably just wipe off to be honest um but yeah really no cause for concern so in actual reality i really did not need to replace this but obviously we have it off we've broke the old part and uh and now we can install a nice shiny new one so i think what i'm going to do is give all this a wipe out give the outside a clean and then we'll uh, then we will proceed on installing the new one okay so you can see removed you know some dirt in there which 
you know this is oil vapors going through here so it's obviously going to be oily but yeah really not a whole lot else going on you know no blockages or anything like that so this updated design is definitely better than the old old uh, old design where they had the filters and whatever else just want to see where this actually sits I don't think there's a right way up uh, it seems like that could be that seems like the correct way up and then Does it really matter? This was pointing over here like that, so I think that's the way I'm gonna keep it. Like that, was it? I think it was. I need to check. No, no, it weren't. Good job I checked. It was actually like this. So I'm guessing this can actually just be pushed on now. I'm just gonna Make sure everything is lined up. That looks good. Right, this should be able to just be pushed on now. Just hope none of these snap. Yeah. Looks good. Okay then, so that is a, another job done on the BMW. That is the crankcase ventilation valve. And if you have one of these style breathers, you do not, in reality, you do not really need to replace it. I wanted to find out today what would be the case when I removed it. But obviously now you guys know if you have one of these style breathers, it really doesn't need replacing. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Please give this video a like. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you have not already done so. And I'll see you all in that next one. Peace.